Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. So continuing our Exchange Server 2016 training. In this video we will be testing our dynamic distribution group, resource mailboxes and shared mailboxes. So let's get started. Right now we are on a Exchange Server and let's log into the Exchange Admin Center. Let me sign in with the administrator user and in a group let's see the dynamic distribution group is email address for the dynamic distribution group is sales at techiejack.com and let's see the condition we have put there you can see the condition rule is here that like recipient container is sales company is techie jack and department is sales means the person uh, who has a department of sales and the company has a techie jack and the recipient container is sales only those user will be receiving this email let's see the Raj properties and if we see the organization let's put the company as a techie jack click on save that means Raj is inside the department of sales and the company is techie jack if you see here the organization the department is sales and company is techie jack so let's put uh, some uh, one more user let me put the Laura there Laura is a member of sales team group as well and if we go to the organization she does not have a department of sales so we will put the department as a sales and company as a techie jack that means if we now send email to our dynamic distribution group Laura William and Raj will be receiving that email so let's test it now let me try to log in with a user like techie jack it's techie dot jack let me put the password for this user save it now let's try to create one more email and I'll send it to the sales at techie jack our dynamic distribution group let's search the directory sales at techiecheck.com testing dynamic distribution group let me send it the email has been sent now so I hope the Laura William and Raj will be receiving this email so let's log out and try to log in with the Laura William okay you see the testing dynamic distribution group this is a mailbox for the Laura William and we received it and also we will receive this email will be received by Raj as well so let me check Raj user as well I hope 
we will receive email okay the Raj is also there so Raj also has received that email but if we check like uh, one more member inside the sale was Leisha and she does not have a company name as a techie jack so let's see if Leisha has also received that or not according to the settings uh, Leisha should not receive that email but let's check okay Leisha did not receive that email Leisha is inside the organization unit of sales but the rules and condition for the dynamic distribution is that the department should be a sales and the company name should be a techie jack but the Leisha does not have a company name of techie jack that's why Leisha did not receive that email so our dynamic distribution group is also working fine so let's see uh, now uh, go to our exchange admin center and let's see the shared mailboxes now we have a customer service at techiejack as a shared uh, mailbox and if we go to the properties of this uh, mailbox let's see uh, the delegation mailbox delegation let's see the full access permission Raj and Laura has a full access permission for this customer service mailbox so they will have this mailbox inside their mailbox let's go to the outlook and see if they really have this mailbox and they can send and receive email on behalf of this customer service at techiejack.com so what I will do I will quickly connect my another server I'm connecting to my another machine that also carrying a VM virtual machine as a client and let me find it now and that is a server 2 okay server 2 is now connected and I have a machine like client 2 saved there let me start this machine maximize it or we can log in with the Raj because Raj and Laura William they both have a shared mailbox for the customer service let me log in as a Raj and also we will check the Outlook as well uh, if Outlook, Outlook can auto discover the email address and get configured or not ok we are inside our client machine and this client machine is joined with the domain like techiejack.com as a client so let's see and open the Outlook for Raj so that we can check it is auto configuring is setting or we have a customer service mailbox inside the Outlook or not so let's go and open the Outlook as we are trying to open this at the first time so it may take some time to get configured it's opening now let's see if it's auto detect the exchange server email address for Raj it's searching for account now and I'll accept the agreement and it's picked the address automatic like raj at techiecheck.com I'll say connect let's see if it works or not it's giving the security alert for certificates so right now we don't have a certificate but uh, you can just click on yes to proceed click on yes ok 
okay click on next and done we'll minimize this okay user recommended settings let me try to open it once again click on yes it's configuring our outlook account is setting up a local copy of your mailbox it may take a several minutes until your data is available we are inside the outlook of a Raj mailbox and if you see here you also have a customer service here this is a shared mailbox with the Raj and Laura and we can see the uh, customer services here with the Raj user because it has a full permission for this customer service mailbox so if I go ahead and try to email to the customer service let's see if we are able to receive that email or not like Raj will be able to receive that email or not let's open our exchange and I will log in as a techie jack and I will send email to customer service at techiejack.com let me try to open a new mail to customer because customer service is a shared mailbox it does not have any username or a password to log in it's just shared with uh, Laura William and Raj and I'm sending the mail to customer service let me search for the directory customer service and say first mail to customer service I'll click on send let's see if uh, Raj has received this email inside customer service or not see you can see we have one email inside this you can say inbox first email to customer service if I go ahead and reply this email yes received and click on send back because now I can send email on behalf of customer service I have uh, full access to this customer service and I have replied on this email so let's see if we have received email yes I have received that means the user the other user like this user is a techie jack he sent a mail to customer service but Raj has responded this mail on behalf of customer service so the user will not know who is responding that email as it's a shared mailbox and Raj have responded but the email address which is received uh, in a techie check mailbox it is from the customer service so this is how you can use your shared mailbox I hope you have learned something from this video and in our next video we will cover our mail contacts and resource mailboxes so guys please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and let's meet in a next video